Oh, right. Yeah. Hello. I, I, yeah, right. We're, we're on air. We're live. Yeah. And I'm just talking to Fox, who's sending his apologies uh, because he can't get in here tonight. He says he can't find it, but I've, I've just sent you the link to it because it's obviously here because yeah. some people have found it because it's obviously a real thing. You're, you're all in chat, so it, it exists as a real thing on this somewhere. So hopefully you'll be able to find us. Uh, if you're watching elsewhere, if you've managed to find us through the rules uh, page, then click on the little YouTube icon down there somewhere and get to the YouTube page. Uh, you can join in the chat and talk to us live and ask any questions you have. And we'll be here for a couple of hours probably and we'll do what we do yeah <laughs> right right sorry about that yeah a, bit, a little bit of a hiccup with my uh, computer there it sort of uh, froze just just as we started maybe it's uh, pretty good to under too much pressure to work or uh, it's, it's everything's flashing on my screen at the moment ah right uh, right good evening yes let's start again let's just go to this down Oh, right, let's start again. Good evening, everybody. Welcome. Welcome to the E-Models Monday Night live stream with me, Ted, and the other guy down here is Chris. I'm not Chris. down there. When there's only two of us, we don't get. they don't get the little pictures. Oh, I've got two. Oh, do they, they not get... Oh, we, we can get the little pictures. They don't get oh, the little we pictures. Get the little pictures. So if if I'm talking, they can't see you at all. You're safe to do whatever you want to do, as long as I start, oh. stop talking, and then it's you. Oh, right. Uh right hang on a minute uh just well. checking the emails uh <laughs> yep uh, just a reminder if you've got any questions for tonight's live stream it's ted at emodels.co.uk um uh send them through put them in chat if you put them in chat remember to put them in bold and hopefully we'll see them we have no uh chat dolly tonight which is usually chris that's his job yeah. uh but, i'll try uh, but the, as i'm the, sort of yeah, talking as well one. then it's going to be more difficult so as i say bold questions yeah. or emailing ted is your, your best bet yeah so yeah um yeah uh, where, uh, where am i broadcasting from tonight right well uh we're in the west wing of the mansion uh because we've sent this we've give the servants the night off so i've moved across to the west west wing um uh, in the library yeah, they're not my books, by the way. They're all, they're all the books room. in the house as well, and you just collect them all in one place. To yeah, yeah. Uh, that's it. Yeah, they're not my books. They're all on cooking and sewing and things like that. Hence the sewing machine. Yeah. Well, actually, all I've done this week is turn the camera around. Uh, I'm sat in the same place as last week. Um, it's just that I've turned the camera around, but it's a different angle. Hopefully, the sounds a little bit better. It doesn't echo as much because there's. Uh, a wall there now so we don't have the acoustic so we're sitting under your stairs are we yeah we are um, now yes that's right yeah cool. not like harry potter and sitting under the stairs that's where the, the cupboard it's up there yeah uh, unfortunately i don't have a, a workshop background not yet anyway but good news is that um i agreed that she could buy some uh blinds for the windows this week so next week we're going to buy a loft ladder so stage one of the great Ted workshop build. I might actually film it. I might oh, do yeah, a book yeah. on it. At least, yeah. at least get some yeah. got pictures and speak. Yeah, build do it do together. And, show, yeah. show how workshop goes together <clears throat> and things like that. Uh, right, shall we have a look, see who's in? Who is in, Chris? Anybody? We shall. Anybody first, first up, we had Nicole Pete in. He said he was first in, and he was indeed first in. Um, ah. uh, then we've got uh, Richard, Richard Gibbs saying hiya. Uh, Da, ba, ba, then me, I'm there still. Yeah, Sergeant Bones says, "Hurry up, I need my fix." Well, you got to wait nine o'clock. That's when we go live. We never go live early. We might be late a little bit sometimes, but we never go never early. Mm -hmm. uh, right, who else have we got? Uh, Sprueglue addict uh, saying, "Hi, Chris. Is Fox okay? Fox is okay, but he's obviously not with us again tonight. But uh, yeah. he, he is hoping to be back with us next week. Uh, that's the intention so far. So yeah, he, yeah he's so with us in spirit." Uh, Sergeant Bone says, I hope he didn't accidentally shave off his beard and is embarrassed to show himself. Well, I don't know, we haven't actually seen him on video at all, so... That could be it, yeah. Nobody's seen Fox for the past two weeks, so that could be it. Come back, yeah, might be a different man. He might, might have only shaved off half of it. Yeah. That, that'd well, be worse. Yeah, could, yeah, could we have a think, could we think of Fox or clean-shaven in a smart suit and tie and things no, like not, that? I'm, I'm sure on some of his earlier videos it was clean-shaven, but... Mm. 
Yeah. No, I can't remember. I can't remember an unshaven fox. I have to, I have to do some research of the archives and see, <laughs> if I can find, oh, see uh, how short his beard, beard used to be. Oh, right. Um, there, there was talk about um, if you were in charge of the buttons and then chat sort of devolved into talking about chocolate buttons uh, and the new Malteser buttons that nobody can find because they don't seem to exist. But they, they, do, they do exist, but no shops yeah. ever seem to have them. Yeah. Yeah, well, there, is, there, is, there are a number of buttons on the uh, Google Hangouts for us, the guys that do the Hangout. There's a big one down here that says... Don't press that one. No. Stop broadcast. Yeah, I have. I That button has been pressed accidentally in don't, the Don't past. even look at it too hard. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it has been pressed accidentally when we stopped the stream midstream and everybody had to go home. <clears throat> but never mind. We'll try not to do that again. There's a couple, there's a couple of other buttons, but we won't bore you. What do you mean we? I, I've, I've already explained in chat. I haven't been promoted to button presser yet. I've not got any buttons. So if it does go, if it all goes hideously wrong, we know it's your fault. Yeah, you don't ever want to be promoted. <laughs> I want to be promoted presser. to button presser, but I say it's all your fault if it goes wrong. Just to make that clear. Yeah, that's it. Uh, uh, we're talking about the temperature. Um, Sergeant Bones says, uh, how's the weather on the island? 30 degrees here and 28 still. Uh, apparently at the moment it's 26 degrees outside apparently, but it's been very warm today. Yeah, uh, yeah. last week was really hot. Uh, we've got a bit of a break at the moment. I don't know about you, Chris, but we've got a bit of a break up here at the moment with a little bit of rain, precipitation. Uh, uh, but then the Met Office have issued an amber alert, if you don't already know, they've issued an amber alert where the temperatures will be in excess of 30 degrees for more than one day. So we're, okay. we're, uh, we, we keep getting told that there's going to be rain and thunderstorms, but as yet they haven't actually materialised. We've had a couple of spots the other night, but that was it. And we really, really could do with some because it's mm. just too hot. All the grass is, you look everywhere, all the grass is dead. It's all just brown mm. and all out there. No more green fields, so... Uh, I was watching the golf yesterday, and the, uh, well, the wife was watching the golf, and I happened to be in the same room, um, and it just seemed that uh, the, the 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 whole course was just brown. So, yeah, it's not the same. Um, Wayne Hayward does ask, "Is it too warm for water slide decals?" I don't think it's too warm. I think that would make them set a little bit quicker, wouldn't it? Because the water will evaporate off a bit quicker than normal, but. Yeah, I don't think no, I don't think temperatures, uh, water slide decals are affected by temperature as much. Yeah, as you said, probably just the water will go quicker. Uh, but uh, yeah, just splash some more water on. Oh, oh, Spruger addict does say it's too warm to do anything. Mm, yeah. Except except watch Ted and Chris. Yeah, okay. you can you can always watch us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, uh, Zanster said uh, Mrs. Ted is looking younger these days. That yeah, you may <laughs> see you may you may see people going be, going past in the background because, as I've said last week, th this little uh, part of the West Wing is the main thoroughfare between the living room and the upstairs. So people will backwards and forwards. Plus, we have a downstairs bathroom, which. They have to come downstairs and go to the bathroom. So yeah, so we'll, we'll try not to. Hopefully, everybody going behind will be decent. Uh, and you know, I'll just click over to I'll just click over to Chris where people come past. I, I might not be decent, but we'll we'll, we'll, we'll muddle through. Um, Lockie forty forty three said, "Ted, I sent you an email last week concerning the Trumpeter U boat. Did you receive the mail?" Uh, so I mail may, you about a Trumpeter U boat. I did get a question about the trumpeter you bought last week. I'm sure I answered it. Oh, uh, who was that? Who was that again? That was uh, I can't quite read it. Lo Locky four o four three. L o e k i e four o four three. But that might not be the email name of. Yeah, that might not be the email address. Yeah, I did person. answer an email. Uh, if you didn't get an email call. from him, always mail it. Might have been somebody else. Yeah, but send it. Send it again. Ted at emodels uk. Just copy and paste it again and. Uh, I'll I'll do my best to get it answered. Uh, I'll give it to you. People who ha who won stickers last week, it was down to me to post them out this this week. Uh, I haven't got around to doing it yet, and as we know that we usually wait until sort of the end of the month, then we can get them all set out, send out in one batch. Saves us backwards and forwards to the uh, post office. But yeah, we'll get them out. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, Bruce Legend said I didn't get my sticker from last week. Can I upgrade to a mug? 
you know, we you can't even upgrade really... to a sticker, to a sticker, but we'll be giving them a muggle away later. So stay tuned for that. You never know. Yeah, yeah. Even we can't get upgraded to books. How long did it take you to get a new morgue? Well, since yeah. they brought it about a month and a half, and that was only because I went there and stole it, uh, uh, borrowed it from behind the counter. Yeah, yeah. I planted, yeah, I planted James's tea out of it before he could put it in your bag. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, anyway, what have you been doing this week, Chris? If anything at all, have this week. Yeah, I've, I've done stuff this week. I, I've I've done some more of this large tube. Look, it's got it's got a pointy bit on the top. Mm. It's it's, oh. it's pretty much the build is completed actually, so the pointy bit on the top has got comes off, and in there we have the uh, bit that gets stuck in there, the bit that comes down to land in the water, little landy water return module. I don't know the official names for any of these things, but uh, that's in there, and the most interesting bit inside, um, apart from that. Inside here, oh, we have the actual. Okay. Yeah, I'll lock it on you because when I speak, it takes it away from you. The, the lunar module itself is sitting there, um, which is going to be no good to show you on camera, and I can't find the focus buttons. But uh, yeah, it's done. I've got to do all the decals and weathering stuff on it. But uh, pretty much the build itself is now completed. So I'm happy all with right. that. It's coming along and. So is, is, is the painting to do then? The painting, I've done bits. I mean, the inside bits of this in green and stuff like that. Uh, the main uh, body itself I've done in white, and that's going to stay mainly white. Uh, I've got to do the black stripes on it. So I've got to do all the masking of everything and then basically go over bits of it in black. <clears throat> I'm going to be going by the instruction manual pictures. Uh, which basically just show you a couple of different sides and you've got to work it out from there. So I'm pretty sure it's not going to be you know, 100% accurate for the rivet counters out there. And apparently there's lots of different variations of it for different rockets. You know, the the different Apollo missions are all painted in slightly different ways just for the fun of it. So I'm not, I'm going to be doing what it says. And if it's wrong, tough. I'm not bothered. I'm going to make it look good for how it looks in the instructions and go with that. If it's the wrong one for the one that's got that particular lander on it or anything else, I don't care. Yeah, I'm going, going to build a launch gantry to go along with it, build it out of straws and no, things like that. Yeah. No, that, that, it, it's big enough as it is. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to add anything else to the side of it. But, uh, yeah, yeah I'm quite, quite enjoyed doing that. I'm, I'm happy that it's done or almost done. But... Uh, it's been a good, been a good fun build. That, yeah. Excellent. Yeah, spot on. Yeah. As what? for me, uh, as for me, well, no, I haven't done any building. <laughs> uh, I have found bits and reorganised bits and pieces. That's when I found the stickers, because uh, uh, last week I didn't know where the stickers were. So I do have mine. I do have some e-model ones. Uh, so I'll be sending them out to the people that I promised them to. Um, hopefully, I've still got their addresses. Uh, yep, so we'll get them. Yeah, the last week's winners, I'll get your stickers out now. I've found them. Uh, as I say, a couple of days. And we're, not, we're almost at the end of the month, so I'll try and get them out of the next days off. And you can have them all then. But don't worry, there's a chance to win them again. And there's some news on a new sticker, which will tell you later. Yes, yeah. there is a brand new sticker, which even we haven't got access to yet. So we haven't seen them ourselves, but we could tell you about them. Uh, so look, yeah, and of also there's lots of giveaways and things to carry on with. So good. Uh, right, what else has been going on in chat while we've been talking amongst ourselves? And uh, Andy B B sixty seven says hi, Chris and Ted. Uh, hi there. Uh, Expat Spain says welcome to my world. Thirty eight, and it's normal for southern Spain. Uh, yeah, it's a bit warm for me. I don't think I'd like it getting quite that high. Uh, uh, Michael Jackman says, Ted, there's a pub called The Rising Sun uh, at Codditall that has 50 sewing machines like yours in it. Yeah, well, that, that's not my sewing machine. Obviously, it's not my sewing machine. It's the wife's. She collects them, uh, vintage style. Um, we often You often see these types of things, uh, these types of sewing machines on the internet, on eBay and things like that, and people want a fortune for them. Uh, but you could pick these things up for as little as five pounds in cracking condition. Uh, 
because unfortunately because some people because people think they're old um they think they're worth lots of money uh, but unfortunately they were the um plasma tv of the day everybody had one mm. so there's thousands of them about yeah you can pick them up for a song and they make quite nice ornaments uh they, they are all different uh lots of different sort of variations and things like that and styles and sizes uh but i did notice that somebody said uh sergeant bones uh says they're brilliant uh they're brilliant for sewing machines so, uh, brilliant sewing machines for jeans and canvas yeah they are yeah, all these work. Like heavy work yeah. stuff yeah yeah, yeah, we uh, well, well, we get them restored, and um, we get them up to working and things like that. And yeah, these actually do work. So, yep, uh, send all your repairs to us. Yeah, but uh, <laughs> uh, you repair your jeans, uh, building models, and repairing jeans. So I see uh, Paul, Paul's in as team in He says, "Go on, scratch build a gantry, you great big chicken." No, I'm not going to be so scratch build a gantry for it. It's huge. <laughs> I haven't got enough straws. Mm. They build them out of matchsticks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. It'd be that would be huge, wouldn't it? And if you, especially if you built it so it would fell away, yeah, you could yeah, put a little mortar on it so it falls away. As, and some light, yeah, you could light it and some pyrotechnics in the bottom. Yeah, but no. Go and go. Um, yeah. James Chapman says possibly should have fitted into our shout out section, but. It's, it's shouted out in the chat, so we'll, we'll do it now. I just thought let everyone know that he's been sponsored by a company to build and review their Lego sets. Oh, wow. Um, uh, so he's, he's still waiting on a few modelling companies to get back to him, but uh, yeah, that's, all, that's cool. So I built a Lego, one of them, the Saturn V, which is sitting over there. Is, that was great fun. Yeah, yeah. never too old for Lego, as uh, Sergeant Bones says. So congratulations on that. Yeah, congratulations. Yeah, hope it all takes off. Uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, hope it goes all right for you. And uh, the more you do, make videos of it, lots of pictures, and people start following it and things like that. And yeah, it'll take off. Hopefully, it'll work. Uh, yeah, Tony please. Blackwell says he's got a suggestion for me to do a 144 build. Uh, the the tack on rats. E models have them. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. No, uh... I'll have to have a look for that later, but um, it doesn't sound familiar. Mm -hmm. but... I don't know every model that they do, so I'll have a look at that. Thank I, I you would, very much. Yeah, I, I would go on. I would go on the e-model site and have a look for it. But uh, every time I open a page, my computer slows down even more. So um, yeah, we'll have a look. For, we'll have a look. I'll have a look at that one later. Um, I'll have a look now. I'll, I'll have a look on my phone while while Ted's doing some talking. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, right, yeah, let's go through again. Where, where do we get up to on the people who were in? Um, Tony Blackwell, uh, James Chapman, Toby Page. Toby, Toby Page, is that a new name? Not one I've recognised before. If it is, welcome, Toby. Uh, there's GB Models on, Gaz Vickers, or Reet, everyone, he says. Uh, must, be, must be from Oop North. Uh, Uh, like the other, yeah. uh, Michael says thanks to E Models for the paints for his F thirty five and the new respirator. Yeah, use oh. the two the two go combined wonderfully. Uh, you've probably been round. You've probably been wearing it around the house, scaring the kids. Everybody does that when they get one. Yeah, uh, going around the house pretending you're um, Darth Vader. <laughs> I am your father. <coughs> Uh, Adam Clark, there's a discussion going on earlier about Tesco, uh, Maltese buttons and Tesco are doing them apparently. Cool. Uh, so, so they're saying they're very hard to find, but yeah, I have seen them in Tesco's. I haven't had I've, any I've yet. seen a stand in Tesco's that says Maltese, but in it made regular Maltesers. Uh, so I think they've run out. I, I can't find that, but I'll have a look for it later when I've got you know, a proper computer I can look at it on. Thank you. Uh, Lucky4043 says, Ted, what's my opinion about the quality of the trumpeter you bought? His had very bad moulds, uh, especially the two big units do not fit too good. Um, I found mine perfect. Um, maybe you've just had a, a Friday, uh, a kit put together on a Friday. Uh, I'd certainly be contacting trumpeter with that. They do have a sort of customer service section now i don't know where it is but if you google it i'm sure you'll you'll come up with it um yeah but they certainly customer service and spares and repair 
well, space section. So have a look, have a look with them um, and see if you come up with anything. Give it, drop us an email, ted at emodels.co.uk, and I'll have a chat with you and see what we can do. Uh, yeah. A few people have been popping in saying that it's um, a, a giant German super tank, a huge German tank, apparently, this uh, thing. So that could be quite interesting. Big, big tank. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, Shadowland Scale Models has a question. It says, which has been your all-time favourite box art? I, I used to rem I, I do remember it was a little bit like um, the Victor comics. Um, at one time, Airfix box art used to be quite, used to be good. It always is good. Uh, but it used to show sort of Spitfire dive bombing a Messerschmitt. Uh, or attacking a Messerschmitt and the Messerschmitt going down in flames. And that sort of thing was now then deemed to be in bad taste. So all the box art has sort of changed now. Uh, you'll sort of uh, you'll sort of see pictures of aircraft attacking inanimate objects or, or things Just like that. Just in flight rather than actually doing anything. Yeah. Um, but so... For me, I couldn't. I couldn't sort of say a particular box art itself, but I, I would go with some of the older Airfix box art, and yeah, it's still fantastic. I, the more recent one, the one that does spring to mind, was the um, Hawker Hurricane, the one I built for E-Models. That had some. That had a really nice box art. Had it attacking a German uh, convoy. Uh, with the Panzer IV and things in the uh, in the convoy, so yeah, that's it's quite nice. Uh, what about you guys out there? What do you think um, about box art? I must admit, I don't tend to be that bothered by the box art. I, uh, being that I'm pretty much doing the one four four stuff, it limits what I can, well, not what I can do, but what I want to do. So the the picture on the box is sort of secondary to being able to get a kit first of all, and then. It being something that just takes my fancy, so I don't really pay that much attention to it. No, I, I do think that a nice box art, a striking box art, will more will tend to draw you to that kit. I know that some people, I, I don't know about you, I don't myself, but I know that a lot of people keep the boxes. Well, or certainly, or they cut the front off the box. Some people actually, I've heard of their displaying them uh, on the wall in the workshop. Think, uh, put them up in picture frames like that. Yeah, I've seen seen pictures of people do things like that, but again, it doesn't bother me. I don't not that attached to it. To be honest, once I've got the kit, that's the bit that I'm interested in. And some of the box art is quite nice, but it's secondary. It's like mm -hmm. uh, if I want to watch a film, then I'm not really bothered by what the the cover of the box is. It's the the film I've, I know about the film. I want to watch that rather than I pick that up because it's got this picture on the front. I don't know. Uh, Sergeant Bond says, from a generic, generic standpoint, he always likes the Tamiya box art. Tamiya box art is, yeah, it, it, it's good. It's basic. It shows you what's in the box uh, and a little bit of animation, sort of diorama type idea to it. Yeah, that's good itself. It, it, it's nice that way. Just just a picture of what's in the box. It yeah, doesn't always have to be fancy. Is, and, is box art like always a, a drawing of the thing rather than photos or... It, it, Tends yeah, to be, I, doesn't it? yeah uh, I don't ever recall unless somebody out there knows that um, any of the any box out there there's actually a photograph of the item in the box rather than a, an artist's impression of it or, or a photograph of the real thing that you're going to be building a model of mm. you know yeah. maybe there's rules that they can't do things like that because it's sort of false advertising isn't it? um yeah it, yeah, somebody's going to have to build it in the first place to take a picture of it. <laughs> uh, and then apply that to the box. And you think, well, mine doesn't look like that. Uh, yeah. Uh, Sergeant Bone says some of the new tack on box art is wicked. And Tony Blackwell says he generally scans the box art and throws the box away. So he's got a record idea. of it. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, Phil, uh, Phil, uh, Phil Kett says that to be a Jaguar GR1 is a photograph. Yeah, that's, right. yeah, yeah. On that note, yeah, I do recall now that some aircraft pictures I've seen is um, is actually a photograph. Are they, or are they just really good drawings of photographs? No, uh, I think they are actually photographs. Wow. Yeah. Um, uh, Sprugger Addict says old Airfix kits had pictures of the kit. Oh, right. 
See, stand corrected. Yeah. Uh, Tony Blackwell says photos of a completed model generally look disappointing. You've been looking at photos of my completed models, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. I've been looking at some of my models. Then. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, Sandy Ball said he loves it when it's a drawing. It's it is art. Yeah, um, I know. I there is a particular artist for Airfix, isn't there? I can't, I can't think of his name, uh, but he's done box art throughout the years for Airfix. And yeah, uh, being able to draw like that, yeah, it's an art in itself. It should be appreciated. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, Phil East says I never cared about box art until I saw some guys who fold their Gundam boxes and they look like canvas pictures on a wall. So yeah, so if you get, there are some very good box are out there but it just doesn't bother me it's like um ad adverts <laughs> don't tend to sell me on the products or i'd be happier if adverts were just someone saying this product is available make up your own mind about it rather than trying to sell it to me by having you know people mm -hmm. ice skating or something it doesn't do anything for me no. uh, tony blackwell says roy cross that's the airfix artist oh, right. yep cracking yeah been doing it for a number of years um, uh, a master of his own art uh, Zadster says, I know the Airfix four-stroke engine is a photo because I'm looking at the box. Oh, right. Uh, or the, do you mean or the Airfix one? Uh, which one am I thinking of? Do you, do you mean the, the self-build sort of plastic type? Plastic. Yeah, the, the um, sort of put it together with screwdriver type thing. Uh, possibly, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, Phil East says he's tempted to mat coats and Gundam boxes to put up on the wall. Mm -hmm. And Sergeant Bone says, I admit that sometimes I do judge a model by its cover art. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, there we go. Uh, Tony Blackwell says he used to love the Tamiya catalogue pictures. They were fantastic. You can still get them. E-models still have them, actually. Um, you still have the Tamiya catalogue, so it is still being produced. I must admit, I haven't seen one for a few years, but years ago, when... I was that tall or even that tall i used to get them uh yearly because i think they're almost cheap if not free uh and you used to take them on and drool over the for uh the photographs inside they were photographs um and some of them were not available here they were like japanese cars and things like that and uh you try and find something that you wanted and then you would you'd find it oh that's great but it's not available in the uk so yeah, but the Tamiya catalogue. Yeah. Uh, uh, Zazda says it's not the four cylinder one in transparent plastic. This is the Airfix single cylinder one. Uh, looks like a cutaway lawnmower engine. All oh, right. I haven't seen that one. Yeah. I was thinking yeah, the, the other one that I built, had the, I had the jet engine and the four cylinder car engine. Uh, yeah. You, we saw them before you moved. I don't think they've survived the move, did they? they're in a box somewhere oh, they did <laughs> <laughs> yeah. perhaps perhaps when i when i get the workshop set up and everything ready to go i could do a um a, an evening of unboxing let's guess what's in this box uh paul, yeah. paul two minutes says uh he's got the some double o scale buildings that he's building has a photo of the completed kit on the hang tag i uh, don't know why it looks terrible uh, so, yeah it's not real buildings it's like a mock-up of a fake building so they couldn't take a picture of a real building and fox is in the chat and says hey all yeah, got a fox. few minutes yes. to hang out here in the chat so hello to everyone if you have any quick questions just ask yeah if you can't yeah if you're watching and you can't get online to chat put a question in the chat fire me an email at ted at emodels.co.uk and i'll send it i'll shout it out for fox to answer oh there you go you, you can you can read fox's answer about the box art you like uh, doing that as for favourite boxer, I always loved Shigeru Kobusat, that guy, boxer for Tamiya back in the day. Yeah. Yes, thanks, Fox. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, hang on. Shigeru Komot Kamatsuka. Suka, no, the, the chat keeps moving. I can't, it's definitely Shigeru. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we'll get Fox to tell us what that name really can, is. Can, next can you write it phonetically? <laughs> yeah. uh, uh, right, Paul, Paul's got a question for Fox. Got any Kit Kats left? Because Paul sent him a big box of Kit Kats. But that was ages ago. They'd have melted by now if he hasn't eaten them. Yeah, uh, yeah. RLE82 uh, says, Why do companies charge you for their catalogue? I'm assuming it's a 
sort of cost thing, isn't it? They're only if they're mm. a relatively small company, although FX and that still charge for catalogs. I don't know, maybe they're they are more art than you know, met method of ordering. Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't, yeah, with like Screwfix, for instance, other other available. Um, you could take as many catalogs as you want, it doesn't seem to they don't. You know, just bear the cost. In fact, they bring it. They bring a new one out every month. Mm. Uh, yeah, but yeah, why do catalog companies, uh, model companies, charge you for the catalog uh, for the joy of? Oh, she she get uh, Fox has come up um, with a phonetic spelling. Komatsu Shigeru Komatsu Zaki. Komatsu Zaki. Zaki. Yeah, him. Yeah. Yes. So Fox, Fox likes him. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, Zed says Argos catalogs oh, are free too, and they're huge, and they bring them out as you say every six months, and they have thousands of other things. Hmm. It must be down yeah. to how many people are going to buy things from them. You think how many people are going to pop into Argos is a li little bit higher than the number of people that are going to order something from. Airfix or Tamiya. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, Sprigger Addict says he wishes the magazines that he used to find in the bushes as a kid were Tamiya catalogues. Uh, yeah, I, yeah, those builders magazines that are in the bushes, yeah, just leave them where they are. You never know. Yeah. You don't know where they've been. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, Fox says, I've got no Kit Kat to the hospital, only a cereal bars, which are blur. Yeah, uh, are, yeah, yeah, hopefully Fox yeah. is not on hospital food and he's just visiting uh, or snack, snacking in the hospital canteen. That's Yeah, that's, yeah I bet if he's, he's visiting and stealing the food. <laughs> yeah, yeah, when the food comes round, he hops into the next empty bed. So, yeah. Just uh, stealing the desserts, I think, probably. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. Uh, well, Fox is here. Should we, should we show the sticker? That Fox uh, is the yeah, only one that's got the sticker, so people might want yeah, to ask some questions about at the it. Moment, yeah, at the moment, Fox, um, there are some new stickers starting to come into circulation from e-models. Um, they're a little bit different from the uh, <coughs> the original ones. Uh, have you got a picture there, Chris? I have. I'll, 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 I'll share it. Yeah, yeah I'll look uh, it on you. Yeah, that, that's the, it. That's it, yeah. Mr. E, apparently. That's, apparently. that's what he's called. Um, just just in case you're confused, that that's not a life size fox. That's a little fox model. <laughs> yeah. So it is big, but it's not that big. It's it's not you know twelve foot tall. But, no. uh, yeah. So eventually, we will hope to be giving some of these away, or you can ask for one to be included in your order if you get across the emails. Um, just type in the request. Hopefully, you can get one included in your order if you're ordering anything from e-models. I know that usually, I think they're now starting to throw in a sticker as well, aren't they, with each order that goes out? They do tend to be, from what we can gather from people who have been yeah. receiving orders from them, yeah. Uh, uh, I shall stop presenting that. There you go. Yeah, uh, go. Fox says it is large. It's also not square. It peels off as just the artwork. Oh, <laughs> where have you stuck it then, Fox? Have you peeled it off? Where, where, where have you stuck it? I don't think I've got anywhere that I can stick one. I'd have to cut it in a bit and put it on my drawers or something, but it, it, yeah. it's it's a bit too big to go anywhere, I think. Yeah. yeah, I haven't seen one yet, so maybe I could have a huge one that could hang behind and hide these. The sh have you seen these shadows? Yeah, there's been some discussion as to what they're shadows of. Yeah, it's the uh, it's the chandelier. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, I can't wait till I get my new workshop. Uh, stop messing around. Uh, right. Uh, yeah, why is Fox in hospital, says Brugger Addict? Food. That's why he's in hospital. And Food. Fox says, it was just stuck on a bit of card, but I will stick one on the Foxmobile. Uh, yes. Uh, not that anybody needs a, a, an email sticker to recognise his Fox. Fox no, that's true. Uh, Paul mm. says he can tell me where to stick one. That's not very nice. <laughs> thinking, thinking just a, a big... Yeah, no. Sort of superhero type, Mister E models man. You know, if, if you were a superhero, what would your superpower be? That's usually your question. Yeah, what would your superpower be if you were a superhero? I was going to say superhuman. So, if you were a superhuman human hero, <laughs> what would your superpower be? Uh, 
I'd, I'd quite like to go with the flying thing. I think flying would be quite cool. Even if you couldn't do anything else, if you could just fly places, that'd be impressive. I'd be happy with that. Yes. Um, I would say invisibility, but everybody goes, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, we know. <laughs> Uh, no, um, a superpower. Uh. Uh, while you're thinking, Fox says he does have some of the new stickers, uh, so he can send them out this week if we give some away. So we have to make a note of whether we're giving away a big sticker or a little sticker. Have mm -hmm. you one of uh, these? Uh, yeah, yeah, we could do that. <clears throat> uh, we could forward all, all email. Well, we'll give him till next week till he comes back. As I say, we save the stickers till sort of the end of the month, and they can all go out together. Yeah. Well, uh, um, he'll get back next week, and then he could start sending some stickers out. Uh, Michael Jackman says it will be good when you finally get decent broadband and stop freezing, Ted. Now that wasn't broadband; that was just him thinking. Yeah, he has to stop moving when he starts thinking, or yeah, uh, yeah. two things at once. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Uh, I'm fighting a battle with BT at the moment, who said um, initially that I would get. 10 megabytes per second until they could give me free uh, fibre broadband. I'm um, currently getting four. Uh, uh, and they, they, they said, well, that's average. Uh, they said your average would be, we said we would get an average of 10. So four is an average, apparently. Well, it is. That might mean that when you're not using it, you're getting 15. Yeah, when I'm not, yeah, when I'm not online, yeah. uh, it's fine. Yeah. Uh, Fox says he only has a little bit of time, so if anyone wants to pick his great brain about anything before he shoots off, mm -hmm. um, now yeah. now is the time. So don't if you've got any difficult questions, he might find that he's gone just before he oh, gets that one. Check, it, check in the email email yeah. inbox. The email is email inbox. Uh, look, uh, look. You... Sorry, mm -hmm. Karen. Uh, Fox, do you see enamel washes in the same way as acrylic watches? Um, what well, Fox is. Taking that up, Simon D says, get fibre. I'm waiting for fibre, but apparently there's no room in the box. Yeah, uh, Fox says other broadband providers are available. Yeah, uh, maybe, yeah, I'm in a contract with BT at the moment, which may be getting cancelled. Uh, um, oh, Spitter q 8s in. He says, still on holidays with his boy, Melton in Yorkshire. Have a good, uh, good, um, everyone. I don't know what, um, good, um, oh, good, un, probably, yep. Uh, yeah, uh, lots of people saying their uh, superhero power they'd like, invisibility, magicking out food, uh, chronology, is that stopping time, do you think? That might be quite useful from time to time. Uh, Merlin's Muse says, teleportation or flight? Yeah, teleportation would be quite good. I'd always be a bit worried about being at a, how would you know where you were going to appear? It might be in the middle of a wall or something. So. Yeah, time travel, yeah, that could be a good one, that would be interesting, yeah. But then, then if you travelled in time and you went back, just your appearance in that time zone would it alter time in the future? Ah, uh, well, that's where you think is—is is it multiple time realities? Would you be in a parallel time zone, or is mm. uh, is time like a river and you're just a little stone? So you can throw a stone anywhere in the river; it makes little ripples, but ultimately the river still goes where it needs to go. Yeah. No, where would it end? Yeah, so yeah, probably just a waterfall. Job, yeah. So, yeah, even, as I say, even just turning up there, being physically present in that time, would it alter the future? Yeah, uh, right. Fox has replied to Spruger Addict. He says, You can do the only difference being that you can rub enamel washes off after five or ten minutes with a dry cotton bud. Mm. So, yeah, I think the, the acrylic ones are different. So. No ones you have to be a bit quicker. Uh, blah, blah, blah. And Zadsta says all fiber providers by Virgin have to go through BT open reach, reach, unfortunately. So even if you go to somebody else that's not Virgin, then they'll still be using the BT box and you still won't ever spot it. Yeah, yeah. It seems at the moment I'm stuck, but I am monitoring the um, fiber, uh, sorry, the download speeds. And I shall be able to show them in the future that I'm not getting what they promised. But never mind. That's that's for a different program. That's for uh, uh, Fox continues. He says you can also use pre-made enamel panel line washes and streaking grime as gunk washes. Just paint them all over, give them ten minutes, and dry rub them off. Uh, great and quick method for post shading. Uh, I guess he's typing on his phone. Uh, 
would it work? Yeah, right, I, would, I think if was someone on his phone, it would correct it for him. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Tony Blackwell says, "I'm already travelling in time." Yeah, but going forwards, the same as every, same speed as everyone else is the boring way of doing it. <laughs> Uh, I did see a question there from Jamie Bourne about painting uh, Spitfire's pilots leather jackets. Is there a set of paints? Uh, it depends on what scale you're doing him. If you're just doing him in the 148th, 132nd sort of type scale, you could just get away with just using a, a black or a German grey type thing or a tyre black, anything like that. Um, wouldn't, natu wouldn't necessarily need the texture of leather at that sort of scale. If you're doing a huge 112th scale uh, or something like that, um, yeah, that's when you're going to start getting into um, leather effects, leather paint sets uh, and other things. Uh, but for a Spitfire Pilot, uh, even even down to 148th, I'd go with just a black or a brown. You know, choose whatever leather jacket colour you want and then just um, sort of dry brush it with a lighter colour. Or you know, just, uh, and then uh, give you the effect. If you want it, a matte leather or a gloss leather, depends on what sort of finish or varnish you're going to put on after that. But uh, yeah, be easy enough to do. Wouldn't worry too much if it's just a small pilot. Um, uh, James Chapman says, Chris, I know you prefer building 144, but how about having a go at Revels 112 X Wing? That's sort of a little bit bigger. Than, the 144 X Wing is about that long so 112 would be about half again as long so yeah not not particularly i've, I've got the um 172nd in the, in the in the pile to do at some point so i th don't really need anything between the two of them i don't think but again thanks for suggesting mm, good um uh, right uh yeah which i'm just checking the email email uh, emails email box uh, for any questions tonight for the stickers and the mug giveaways uh, and it's empty uh, so there's a good chance that if you send uh, a question in there's a good chance that your question could be used and you again uh, you will also win a sticker if your question's used yeah so send, send, send questions don't have to be model related anything but question and answer and your address if you're sending in a question so yeah, don't, yeah. Thank you. If, you do want, if you do want a sticker just include your address if you don't want a sticker just mention it if you don't want a sticker but uh, yeah we'll get them sent out oh excuse me uh yeah uh, fox is still there still talking about uh washing uh make paint flow easier if you're doing an overall slap it on and rub it off yeah, and slap, you, can, yes. you can varnish with matte or gloss or not at all uh ah uh, oh, tony blackwell says chris i posted a link to the email rules rat on the on my facebook page oh thank you i'll have a look at that later then yep thank you yep well, i've got the other i've still got the, the gundam to build three models yet so i'm not not in need of anything quite yet but i'll, I'll keep an eye out and have a look at it uh Spruger addict says slap it on slap it on slap it on yes you have to uh, yeah, right, so we've got one question that's come in so far. I've got that before we go in. Yeah, is there any more? Uh, yeah, it's a very good question. That. We, could, we could do at least one more, really, because then we can give away a sticker and a mug. Yeah, sticker and a mug. Um, yeah. And late, later on tonight, we have got the uh, giveaway from last week. And uh, we, we decided on a, a kit we're giving away, don't we? We're not telling them yet. Yeah, we didn't say what we were giving away last week. We thought we'd leave it until this week um and then announce it this week what they'd won but yeah it's not good don't worry it's not going to be a tooth or half a horse or no, we, we did uh, say it was going to be a more serious kit and we've, we've gone uh, for a more serious kit, kit. Uh, hopefully, yeah. hopefully they like it yep uh um, we might should we i don't know i don't know if we're going to do the same again next week what do you think mm -hmm. would you like would you like to know what your prize is going to be before you enter it or would you like to enter it and take a chance it's always fun to take a chance, isn't it? Because you know, yeah, take a chance. Yeah. <clears throat> well, no, we, had, had, we had twice as many entrants this week as we did the week before. So yeah, well, I, it did work quite well. Yeah, so there's a lot of people entering because they never, you never know. Um, uh, yep, uh, we've got the what's in store coming up as well. Yep. Um, shout outs. Yeah, if you get any shout outs, if you a friend, yourself, uh, a colleague, significant other in your life has uh, any um 
noteworthy events coming up, uh, just drop us a line. Uh, we'll give them a shout out. And you yeah, can tell uh, them that the also, don't forget the uh, Emeralds Gallery. Uh, there's a couple of weeks until we have to come up with a new winner. So get your entries in there and get reviewing all the, all the models that are in there at the moment. It's only the five star uh, models that we go through and find the one we like. It, doesn't, it won't be the best one. It will just be one that captures our attention. So uh, don't forget to get on and review some. Give mm. us more to choose from. Yeah, and speaking of e models as well and giving away things, that if you go over to their um, Facebook page, uh, they're occasionally putting posts up now where they'll show you a new paint set or a new kit that's just come into store. Uh, and all you have to do is like that, pay, uh, like that post, and you could be in with another chance of winning more free stuff. So, yeah, e models, e models always giving stuff away. Uh, yeah. It's almost like they don't want to sell stuff. They just want to give it away to everybody. Yeah, give it away. Yeah. yeah. Hello, A models. I've come for some stuff for you to give me. Yeah, brilliant. Yeah, that's what sort of guys they are. Uh, and they're just not, they're not giving stuff away that's sort of gathering dust at the back of the store. They're giving away stuff that people are buying um, yeah. because they know that that's what you want. So uh, you ask and they've done it for you. So go uh, across yeah, hopefully, yeah, most, I, I'm gathering that most of the folk will be on uh, Facebook. If you're not, yeah, why not just join and go and have a look? Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, Dan Ducks Bobbington says, Kazam pizza didn't work. Ah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that could be, be your superpower to make pizza appear whenever you want it. Uh, um, Team and Epp says, wish they'd done a big giveaway when we were there. Yeah, when everybody went down visiting. Yeah, I think Pete was hiding out the back. Uh, uh, he never came out to see him. Yeah, he yeah. wouldn't come out to see us. He was hiding out the back. Until well, the we amount of stuff that Paul ended up buying, we wouldn't have had any more room in the car for anything that he got given free. Uh, uh, so, yeah. so you never know. Yeah, keep watching, keep listening, keep dropping in on a Monday night. Um, and you never know what will happen. Uh, I'm just getting incoming mail. Talk incoming to people. Oh. Talk to the people, Chris. Uh, yeah, so keep watching what we're doing here. It's nothing without you lot. So if you don't come into the chat and say hello and give us something to talk about, it'll be pretty boring, even more boring than normal because Fox isn't even there. So, you know, hopefully next week Fox will be returning. Uh, so we'll have less to waffle on about and repeat ourselves than we are at the moment because we all know he's the interesting one. He's the one that you come to see. And, uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> Paul says, uh, I gave away several of the things he bought. He did. Yeah, this is true. Not to me. And I took him there. <laughs> Uh, oh, all right. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm just checking my emails. See what's coming. I'm just getting a message coming in live from uh, email emodels HQ. Oh. Uh, so yeah. Uh, Fox says right. Got a scoop. Take care all. Have a good rest of the show. And yes, hopefully I should be back next week. All being well. So yeah. bye, Fox. Thanks for thanks for visiting the chat, and we'll see you soon. All the best. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, hopefully. Everything will be sorted soon, and you'll be back to join us. Yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. If you don't get back, don't worry. We, we, we'll we'll just find someone else. Mm. Yeah, I'm, I might not make it next week. So Fox, Ted will be on his own. It'll be fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, next week's show will be from Fox. <laughs> uh, uh, yeah. Okay. All the best to you, pal. I'll chat to you uh, through the tubes within the week. Right. Uh, right where are did, we? Up did we get to? another question? Have we got a couple of questions? Or um, yeah. Uh, uh, have we got any more questions out there? Remember, um, doesn't have to be uh, model related, could be about anything. Um, TV, 80s TV is usually quite a good subject. Cars, well, yep, that sort of thing. Uh, any shows coming up? If you know of any shows coming up uh, that uh, you or a club you're attached to, um, let us know. Uh, where else are we? Let's just go across. Oh, right. I've got three in uh, inboxes. Mm. Let's get rid of the windows. Yeah. All uh, right. Yep. Shall we have a look at the watching store or is it too early for that? What do you think? Oh, why not? Yeah, it's, well, we'll be going for an hour already. Let's have a look at what's in store. Yeah. Right. I'll look it on you. Okay. I shall see if I can share yeah, the correct. Yeah, I remember, the, yeah, the I remember how to do that now. Yeah, I don't have my clipboard, but I do remember things at the moment. <laughs> un un unlike this morning, uh, not yeah, unlike this morning when I forgot to go to work. Uh, uh, yeah, it, um, uh, I, 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 I'd got up the alarm, had gone off, 
but I was languishing in bed <laughs> and I should, suddenly saw that my shirt, freshly pressed by the way, good to her, was languishing on the uh, back of the door. Oh, crikey, I've got to go to work. Yeah, so I've got to go to work. Uh, well, it was only earlier today that I reminded you it was Monday. Yeah, that was, <laughs> yeah. yeah, he sent me an email saying, yeah, hi Ted, what we're doing for tonight's What's In Store? Oh, blow, I forgot. Uh, uh, so tonight I've just had a look through and found some things that are in store. Um, yeah, I've, I've had a look yeah. through uh, new arrivals. They're not all yeah. brand new kit, well, but they're new, new back in stock. Yeah, uh, lock it on you, Chris. Okay. There we go. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready and sharing, so they can see what what I've come up with. Um, I thought I'd start with uh, a plane, uh, one of the the MIGs. But I, I like the the box art on this actually. Now you mention it, it's it's different. Yeah, yeah we were talking about box art before, yeah. weren't we, and drawings and things like that. It's quite a nice line drawing, isn't it? It's the uh, Edward 172nd. Um, Royal Class, I'm assuming, is a, a subdivision of their kits that are just sort of a little bit nicer. I don't know anything about them, but I would assume it's a little bit nicer. Judging by the, the box art, it looks like it's going to be a nice kit, doesn't it? Yeah. So you've got uh, uh, usually, yeah, Ed, Edward. Is it now then? Is it Edward or Edward? 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 It, it says Edward. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's Edward. Yeah, yeah people were laughing because they said it, oh, I can't pronounce it. It's my name, but uh, <laughs> yeah, I think it's Edward. Uh, um, yeah, not, not much actual kit in there, but lots of decals. So that'd be that'd be fun. So what scale is that? I get what's one seventy second. Right. Um, um, so it's going to be quite big. All yeah. oh, right. Yeah, now there is some good uh, box art, isn't yeah. it? Uh, obviously not box at box art on the box, but art within the box, perhaps. Yeah, sort of mm -hmm. camo camo ideas and sort of even a diorama idea. So it's a, an interesting looking plane. It's obviously yeah, different but, but, options for it. Yeah. But uh, I say it's, it's not a cheap kit, fifty-two quid. But uh, it, it yeah. looks nice. Yeah, the MiG. Yeah, the MiG. Uh, always a famous aircraft. Tony uh, Blackwell says there's usually something special in those Royal kits. So, oh I'm right. Not... I don't know. Does it mention anything in the blurb about what's special? It uh, it says uh, no uh, dual combo <laughs> style products offers two fuel kits. Of MIG sub variants manufactured in Moscow and Gorky plants. Mm. So there might actually be two planes in there, but I'm not yeah, sure. Well, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, for the airplane guys out there, it must mean something because mm. uh, Michael Jackman says, just says, wow, a MIG 21. Mm. So, yeah, that's good. And also, Tony Blackwell's mentioned that the Avon IPMS show is at the beginning of April. So uh, if anybody wants to get themselves along to a show, uh, uh, beginning Avon, of August, he says, actually. Uh, right. of all, it says the beginning of August. Yeah, I can't yeah. read it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, right. The next one I've chosen is something a bit different for sort of diorama type this way. Gas pumps. All right. This I, I haven't seen these before. No, this by, so, um, uh, Mick, by Mick as well. Yeah. It's, uh, a bit of a change in tap for, for Mick. Highly detailed modern civilian gas pump kit. And this possibilities to a wide, wide range of modelers. So, yeah, you too can have your own gas pumps or petrol pumps if you're in the UK. Right. But they're cheap, cheap enough, so, you know, they're there. Uh, right, along there we have another more expensive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, get, you do what I usually I'm do. Doing, I'm doing flicking, the menus, yeah. I've got to remember. Yeah, you're to the side. On the menu, you just zoom across <laughs> the menu button and there it is. Uh, yeah. Right, we've got the Dragon 135th, which is an interesting scale. M1120 terminal high altitude area defense missile launcher. Ah, right. Interesting yeah. title, but um, it's it's yeah, a truck. I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to click on the buttons down below. <laughs> <laughs> it's your screen. Oh. Uh, yeah, the Dragon 135. Uh, this is going to be huge. Uh, it's a big enough vehicle in itself. Um, I'm not sure who built this one. Uh, it looks like. It's a um, hard push. launcher. Yeah. Oh. So, yeah, it's got lots of little rocket launchers on the back there and uh, lots of bits to it. So even though it, it doesn't look like, you know, much of a, a kit from the picture, there's a lot of detail in there. Yeah. I... So, um, yeah, that would be interesting to build, I think. 
Lots of detail, lots of information there as well. Black Label Terminal High Altitude Aero Defense Missile Launcher, the M1120. Yeah, uh, yeah, it's going to be a big kit. I know there's been a couple of these type launchers vehicles about it recently. Uh, I don't you know who's doing one, one like the, the one in the book with, with a missile launching with some uh, cotton wool or something. I can mm. the smoke around it. That looked really good. It's certainly uh, something if anybody wants to add a little bit of detail to it to put an actual missile leaving the launcher. Uh, maybe some cotton wool smoke type stuff. Um, Never yeah. before has this launcher been available as a plastic kit in 135th scale. So there you go. It's a uh, black label. Yeah. Yeah, I can't quite read that. But, uh, yeah, so this is by Dragon. 135th, uh, high altitude area defense. Um, the hashtag 3605. If you want to go and have a look at what's in store, um, uh, have a look at the items about what's in store. That's, just type that number into the search bar. Um, up on eModels, um, I'm sure you've visited the web page many times, but uh, it's got a quite um, uh, clever search uh, menu where you can just start uh, start typing a few letters of the item you're looking for and it'll automatically search for you. Yep. So go um, I'm, I'm not sure if Paul's fallen over onto his keyboard or if he's quite excited because this is 135th scale. There's lots of O's in, his, in the message there, so I'm not sure about that. But, uh, oh. Yeah. I remember, yeah, well, as we always say about the what's in store, um, if you see something about what's in, when we're showing the what's in store and you like it, slap it in your basket because uh, we don't know how many of the guys have got on the shelf in the store. They might have one, they might have 101. We don't know. We just pick these before. And even when you put it in your basket, it's not actually yours till you check out. So yeah. make sure you, you get yeah. through and pay for it and then it's yours. Yeah, don't leave it there too long. Uh, it's not that we're trying to, uh, we are showing you what's in store. We're not trying to sell you them what, uh, what you know, whatever we show you. Uh, it's up to you, but, you know. Uh, but yeah, if you want it, uh, get it checked out. Yeah, soon. I mean, obviously, you can look through the site on your own and find all manner of glorious things. Uh, these yeah. are just things that we've, we've gone through and thought that'd be quite interesting to show you. Yeah, so, it's, um, just, it's, yeah, yeah it's just uh, strange how you can end up surfing uh, a model shop. And, oh, yeah. absolutely. Uh, if that if that was a little bit too pricey for you, then there is a cheaper version. <laughs> yeah. You can have the Syrian artillery hell cannon at seven pound yeah. thirty five. Yeah, this will lob a few pounds of lead across the field, uh, across the battlefield. <coughs> um, Obviously, smaller, not not got a car attached to it, but you know it does the same thing, so it's all much the same. Oh. Uh, it doesn't go off with quite the same panache, but probably uh, no not. Right. But again, you could add some cotton wool to it and make a little diorama of it being launched. It'd be yeah. interesting. Uh, yep. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right. And next up, we've got <coughs> a boat and boat. Ah, uh, the Hello 172 second yeah. Santa Maria. Now, I thought that was quite a, a good scale for a, a an old. Uh, I don't know. Is it a schooner or? A, I don't know what type uh, of it is. Yeah, the, the, uh, yeah, I, I would, I would, yeah, yeah, um, yeah I, I would try to impress you by my knowledge of ships and things like that. <laughs> <laughs> but well, you're, you're the sailor in the group, so I'm sure you know all these things. Just say something and people will believe you. It'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Uh, there are different types of schooners and brig brigadoons and you know brigadoons. That was a Scottish dance, wasn't it? Or was it a Scottish <laughs> film? <laughs> yeah, there's brigs and, and other things like that. Uh, what the Santa Maria was? Uh, it was Spanish, wasn't it? Um, yeah, it's, it's got Columbus the ship. Columbus got, ships. And sorry, Black Rock. Has it not got the English cross on the front? Is that not the England thing? Is that yeah. was that Spanish? Or... Mm -hmm. I don't know. Um, but. I, the previous um, ships of this type I've seen have all been sort of quite small scale, quite tiny models. So I thought this was quite interesting. Being one seventy fifth is larger than many that I've seen. Yeah, um, uh, uh, but apparently the Santa Maria was very small, according to uh, von Holdinghausen. Yeah, von Holdinghausen so, says the Santa Maria was very small. It was, uh, yeah, to think that these guys in those days without the aids of life jackets or uh, navigational aids and such like that, sailed the oceans and around the world on ships that were no bigger than our ferry uh, on the Lake Windermere. 
Oh, yeah, so a very brave people uh, to discover the world as it is now. Yep. Uh, yeah, so good. All uh, right, so then we move on to NCAR. Uh, 118th, Honda uh, N3. Uh, 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 well, uh, when you first popped that up, I thought it was a Mini. Uh, it, it's got that look to it, doesn't it? It's like a Mini yeah. with a, an extra bit on the back, but... No, it's yeah. a little Honda. I'm not aware of the vehicle. But... It, yeah, it looks like it looks like a little bit like a Ford or Mini. Uh, apparently, it was the 1970 variant of the popular N360 series, the N3 right. 360. So, uh, uh, yeah, a 118th yeah. scale. So it's again a, a decent sized kit. Yeah, uh, the guys have been obviously doing some research about the Santa Maria. Phil Kett says it's 58 foot, classified as a medium sized now or carrack. Now, there you go. There we I go. It was a carrack. Yeah, yeah 50, 58 feet. Not much bigger than people's caravans, is it? <laughs> that they tore down the motorway. Mm. So, yeah, imagine going around the world in one of them. Uh, there were three ships in the Columbus's fleet. The others were the Nina and Patina, Pinta. Pinta, Pinta, yeah. There we go. You learn something, yeah. You don't just learn about modelling. No, exactly. Me. We have people in chat who know stuff. Yep. We don't have, we don't have any people on the camera that know stuff, but we've got people in chat that know stuff. Yeah, you go away knowing uh, knowing something that you didn't know at the start of the show. How good yeah. is that? Uh, Sergeant Bone says, oh, dear God, I owned one of those Hondas. Well, somebody actually had one. <laughs> like they're actually uh, a real car. What color well, was it? Was it a white one or an orange one? Because that's the only two colors that I've seen the pictures of. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, the the the, um, the Tamiya box art. There you go. Just what you get is in the box. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. but, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure there aren't any of them still on the road now, but... Oh. You never know. One, yes, one will drive, yeah, yeah. You'll be going to work tomorrow. One will drive past. Yeah. Sergeant Bones was, was orange, apparently. So, uh -huh. uh, Right. And the last thing that I've chosen for tonight is, again, something a bit different. It's a, a Sikorsky, but it's not a Sikorsky that we all know and love. It's one that looks really weird. Um, the R5 S51, a rescue helicopter. <laughs> so I think uh, the, the, the bit uh, of the for the, the people to be rescued in. They put a stretcher in each of them. Yeah. Yeah, the, re, yeah, the advent of the helicopter, some real strange and wonderful shapes and, uh, came out when the helicopter was being developed. Oh, yeah, all, all engine and tail rotor, weren't they really? Yeah, I yeah. assume it's, it's designed to be fairly compact so they can land it next to wherever they need to rescue from. Yeah, yeah. Just, just think, if you were a wounded soldier in the field and that turned up, you'd say, "No, nope, it's all right." Yeah, I'll, I'll wait for the next one. Yeah, <laughs> I'll walk. Thanks. Yeah, I'll be all right from here. Yeah, it's only a flesh wound. I'm much. I feel much better actually. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Come think of it. Yeah, I'm feeling a bit better. I'll, I'll leave it for the moment. Thank you. Yeah, twenty-seven quid that one. Um, yeah. One for you, uh, helicopter guys. I'm sure there's some of our, some of you out there that love building them. Uh, uh, and, so that's quite yeah. a good size again. Yeah, I'm a little bit like Fox when it comes to helicopters. Nice to look at, but would I want to build one? Not really. Yeah, well, that one's all right. It's only got three blades on it. You'll be fine. Yeah. Uh, they also seem to take up so much room on the shelf, don't they? Yeah. Yeah. It's no, probably no more than a fixed-wing aircraft, a Lancaster bomber or something like that. But, yeah, they take up a lot of room on the shelf. Yeah. Very fragile. Yeah. Uh, Lord Parkley well, III says, I like that. It, it's mm. got a certain appeal to it, yeah. Yeah. So remember that. That's remember, guys. That's the watching store. As we always say, if you've seen something you like, check it out. Remember to uh, put in, slap it in your basket. Check it out before somebody else pinches it, because we never know. Absolutely. So, uh, Tony Blackwell says two blade helicopter models are the best space wise. Mm. Yeah, but there are some that you can fold the blades in, can't you? So you can have it as yeah, a, they, a fold blade, but you can they, just fold they, them back yeah. to storage. Yeah, the Huey and things like that. There were two blades, weren't ah, they? Right, it's it's yeah. 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 Before we move on, uh, I do have a special shout out this evening. Um, we've been asked, uh, we've been asked to say hello to a very important person from E-Models, which is Debbie. Uh, she's the managing director. She's actually oh. Pete's, she's Pete Mate's boss. Oh, Pete's, Pete's boss. Oh, right. yeah, okay. Yeah. Is she watching? Yeah. yeah, apparently. Yeah, I've got a message here from the man himself. Oh. 
Give Debbie a shout out. Yeah, yeah. No, Fox and I went down to the birthday party the other week. Ah, oh, it was great to meet them all down there. A fantastic night. Yeah, so yeah, Pete's maybe Pete's been ordered to sit. Yeah. Sit yeah, that could be it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, we know who's in charge now. So yeah, yeah so, right. a few people in chat are saying hello, Debbie. So hello. Yeah, yeah. yeah we, we all we all know who's in charge now. Yeah. So Debbie. Debbie, the managing director. Yeah. Good on you. Thanks for thanks for models. Yeah. Uh, right. <laughs> Good. Hopefully she saw that. Hopefully she wasn't away doing things in the kitchen or other thing. Yeah, make, if... make a note of the time code. You can come back and watch it. It's, uh, yeah, 10, yeah. 10, 7. <laughs> yeah, you can replay it over and over again on a loop. <laughs> yeah. You can have us played in the back of the shop. That'd be interesting. <laughs> it was on the telly in the shop. Yeah. 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 When, well, yeah. Now, when you go to Emod, you, you don't need to say, can I speak to the man in charge, please? Can I speak to Debbie? Yep. Yes. Yep, that's it. Yeah, uh, Spruical Addict says, "Can you have a job, please, Debbie? Uh, get to the back of the queue. We're, yeah, we're, we're there first. Uh, good. Yeah, right. Where are we where are we up to now? Oh, uh, in what way? We, we've done some stuff, and we've got some other stuff still to do. Yeah, good. Because I hope you've got the clipboard. Because I can't find mine. I can't write anything down. Uh, just checking the emails. See if there's any more questions coming. Don't forget, guys. Send your questions in. Questions for the sticker. Questions for the mug." Uh, questions for uh, uh, right? Oh, right. I've yeah. I've also got a giveaway for next week, but you'll have to wait for it. Uh, I'll wait and see where it's going to be. Uh, right. Just a minute. I just yeah. I, I have to put things on the hold while I talk to uh, the boss. No. Oh, mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so keep talking. Talk to them, Chris. I'll, I'll talk to him again, shall I? Right. Uh, Tony Blackwell says, I always liked, liked the uh, Sikorsky uh, Tar, the Flying Crane Helicopter. I don't know that one. I, I always thought Sikorsky was a type of helicopter, but I think it's a brand rather than anything else. So they obviously make various different types of them. Um, Dan Ducks Bobbington says, Deb, send me a pizza because my magic didn't work. <laughs> yeah. A lot of us don't sell pizzas. If they did, they'd be almost perfect. Uh, right, still saying hello, Debbie. Uh, Merlin's Muse is trying to import yourself. I didn't, ca I didn't catch what that was about. I must have missed some chat earlier. So, uh, Tony Blackwell says, Igor Sikorsky was a helicopter designer. Ah, oh, right. And so, when, when someone says the Sikorsky helicopter, they didn't mean the Sikorsky helicopter, they meant one of the many ones that Sikorsky designed. Interesting. And that's up to date with the chat. So, yes, uh, as ever, keep questions coming in so Ted can find something to read. He keeps freezing. I'm a little bit worried now because if the button doesn't work, it means I'm stuck broadcasting live forever. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I know, yeah. It's like eight hours, isn't it? It's only eight hours. So. <laughs> uh, oh, right. Sorry. Yeah, I was just uh, looking for a, a giveaway that uh, we've been told about. Well, I can't find it at the moment, but I'll hopefully find it before the end of the night. Okay. Uh, yeah, must be that really? one. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, it's fine. It's close enough. That'll do. Yeah. Yeah, I found it. Woohoo. Oh, is that for next week or last week? or? Uh, yeah, I think we'll do it for next week because we chose one for this week. We've we? we chosen one for this week, yeah. Yeah, and we could. Yeah. Uh, and yeah, we've got a special mention about this. Right, I'm just trying not to slow my computer down too much. <laughs> there we, I'm back with you. Yes, I'm back with you. Uh, yeah, it's a special gift this week. It's from Debbie herself. Yeah. So yeah, Ooh. she's uh, yeah, uh, yeah. It's it's a brand new. Yeah, it's a special kit. It'll be given away in the giveaway next week. It's brand new. It's been uh, released today, and it's from Tamia. So if you want to go, sh go searching, really? oh, yes. Yeah, don't don't search for the new things yet because you might find it and buy it, and then yeah, we'll you might you might miss it. Yes, you might miss it. Yeah. Okay, so that's what we're going to give away next week. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Uh, yep. And it's from Debbie, the managing director, who said we can give this fantastic prize away, and we'll do that in the giveaway. So it gives everybody a chance for next week. Absolutely. How about that? Um, yes. 
Did we, yeah. did we have a couple of questions or just the one so far? What have we got? But uh, with, uh, excuse me. Yeah, I just got. It's not a wardrobe malfunction, is it? No. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> things are falling out here uh, right yeah so yeah so debbie so yeah from debbie you know i'm, I'm a bit thrown by this yeah it's good from, yeah, from debbie so, with love so yeah from debbie with love the managing director of e-models um yeah and they're going to put one they're going to put one of these to one side because it's a massive seller uh and they've sold loads already right there we go but not right, too late. So, stay tuned that'll be later on that'll be later on yeah right. okay right yes um shall we give away something less yeah, one interesting two, one, or two people are, one or two people one or two people in the chat are sort of making guesses about what it might be but we're not going to tell you you'll have to stay till the end i don't know what it yes. is so they know what i can't read even if yeah, you're even, getting even, right even, i don't know even chris doesn't know what it is i'm excited I'm, I'm wanting to find out but there we go yeah. um shall we give away something less interesting then shall we give away a sticker yeah let's give a sticker away Right, right. This is your time to go. No, I've got cramp. Ow. <laughs> this is your time to to go and refresh your browser. Make sure you're you're caught up with us because uh, it lags a little bit, and you could be a couple of seconds, couple of, um, moments behind us. Yeah, a couple of so, seconds could be the difference between winning and not winning. Yeah, and yeah, I'll show, yeah. Oh, right. Here we go. Right, I'll go while you're doing that. I'll shall go across to the emails, email bag, emails, email I'll find bag. Find a question that we've been asked for a sticker. Um, yeah. Now, as, as ever, you're going to type your answer in when Ted says go, but be warned that it might come up with your answer first on your chat, but it won't be you first on everyone else's chat. With the, yeah, we get it yeah. as YouTube yeah. get it. So if you and someone else will click the buttons at exactly the same time, one of them's got to be first. And on your chat, it'll be you, but it might not be you when it gets to us. So yeah. we, we just you're, you're, the first one that we see the correct answer. Yeah, it's just the way that YouTube works. It's it's loaded towards you, so um, we we'll see it differently on here. Right, uh, question. Um, I've lost it. There it is. Right. <laughs> this one came in from Gerwin a little while ago. Uh, it was actually the first in uh, with a question for this evening. Um, remember, you can send these at any time as well, by the way. So if you're at work or you're lying in bed one night and you suddenly think, oh, that would be a good question, you can send it to Ted. Ted at emodels.co.uk. We'll keep them in the, uh, in the mail bag and we'll drag them out and use them next week. Uh, okay, that's good. Right. Here we go. Right. As one or two of you might notice, there are a couple of strange shadows behind me that are generated from the, the chandelier in the West Wing. Um, and the, the, uh, Gerwin says, um, the, the shadows behind me look like wings. Uh, in honour of Fox, this, this week's submission is, and the question here is, ready to go, uh, right, in what war did Florence Nightingale serve? Go. Okay. In what war did Florence Nightingale serve? Nice. Uh, this would probably be quite easy, I would think, for some of the uh, people that listened at school. Um, uh, it's certainly easy to guess. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, there we go. Tony Blackwell, Crimea. Yeah, that was the first question. Uh, we take it that's the right answer because we don't research them. We're, we're just too lazy. Uh, we don't Lots, get lots of people there. answering that. So I'm pretty sure yeah. that's probably right. Yeah, so. but remember, if your if your answer's wrong, if you send a question, you give us the wrong answer. We're sending the guys right out of you. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, so yeah, that's it. Tony, oh, I did say Tony back or was it? Did I? Uh, you did, and it was yes. Yeah, it, it yeah. was yeah. Bill East. You said War of the Worlds. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, right. That's it. So just send uh, me your your address, Ted Emails .co .uk, and the next day or so, I'll uh, hopefully catch up on all these stickers. We'll get them sent out. At the moment, I don't have any new ones. Although I could drop Fox a line, because um, Adster said she spent most of her life in bed. According to QI, oh, right. That's a good program. That QI, yeah, good. Right, next question. Right, so that was for a sticker, wasn't it? That was a sticker. We said, "Yep, yep." All right. Yes. So we we so, didn't say if it was going to be one of the new big stickers or a tiny little sticker. So, yeah. No. Have you got a multiple questions? So have we got enough to do another sticker? 
Okay. Uh, what? Uh, we could do a big sticker. Should we do a big sticker? If you, if or, you for that and a mug, it's all dependent. I don't want to have to think of a question. Is all does it? <laughs> yeah. Oh. All right. Yeah. I've, I've got a question for a mug. Okay. Right. Yeah. Right. I tell you what. Yeah. The stickers that we're giving away will be big stickers. I'll get the guys to send me some stickers and Chris some stickers. And <clears throat> if you want a sticker this week from this week, you can get a big sticker. How about that? Yeah, so, yeah. Might not, might okay. not be always be a big sticker because I've got a big pile of little stickers that we've got to give away as well. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. Well, you'll get both then. You can have a big sticker and a little sticker. How about that? Yeah. I just hope the envelopes are big enough. That's one. Yeah. We'd have to fold them up. <laughs> yeah, yeah follow up and crease them yeah, yeah we're, we're, we're cut them into yeah. slices so you can fit them all in the envelope and then you can stick them together when you get them yeah yeah well yeah that's it we'll, <laughs> we'll cut it we'll cut it in half with a scalpel and you can put them back together when you stick them on something uh, right yeah so yeah this week's sticker is for the new big e mr e sticker and the original e model sticker how about that good sweet. deal sweet right mug time he says uh book time let me find a question that's the problem when you've got a form where the left hand side of the screen doesn't work oh yeah i forgot uh, about that haven't you got a new yeah. phone yet i haven't got a new phone yet <laughs> wouldn't be the same if i had a phone that worked <laughs> um right okay this one is um what sorry yeah right Peter said he will include a Mr. E sticker with your mug. So when we send all the guys your details uh, of a winning a mug, he'll stick a, a, e, a Mr. E sticker with oh, it. Oh, so it's a twofer. How about that? Yeah, so we're getting these, yeah, we need to get these e, Mr. E stickers out. If you get if you win an, any Mr. E sticker, send us a picture of it. Yep. Wherever. Stick it on something. Stick it on something funny, notable, noticeable. Send a picture into E Models Facebook page about that yeah or or if you build a model stick it next to your model send it into e-models i would like to see them so let's let's see how far uh let's see how far we can get mr e sticker to trouble right how about that okay mug time right i'll go back to the mail mug time refresh your browser again just quick minute it's second or two to refresh your browser so you're missing out um right <clears throat> okay i think we're ready to go are you still with me chris yeah i'm still here i'm waiting, <laughs> I'm waiting for you. you, you, you got the question i've got the question oh, oh god yes i've got the question <laughs> uh right uh, it's about your rocket actually oh. uh, about the saturn five uh, you probably got this in the instructions actually so if you've got a saturn five kit this one's been sent in by phil Kett. Uh, Phil, yeah, you'll get a Mr. E sticker as well. Um, we'll, we'll include one of them in the post. And his question is this week. Um, yeah, yeah, the question. <laughs> I'm getting loads of emails coming in now, uh, and especially from Chris. <laughs> Chris is sending me just send you a message because, you know. But... <laughs> yeah, the <laughs> aeroplane. Uh, the the aeroplane, uh, yeah. Um, okay. The one we decided on. <laughs> Yeah, the decided on. right. Uh, <laughs> the question is for Phil Kett was how tall in feet was Saturn Five? Go, uh, remember? Okay, um, uh, one, yeah. two, about, about three. Uh, yeah. How tall uh, was Saturn Five in feet? Oh, the real one, not this one behind me. Not that one behind you, oh, the okay. real one. Uh, 258 says. Three hundred and fifty, hundred and twenty, forty-two. It's more than forty-two. I'm pretty sure. Michael Chapman's honest, and he said he doesn't know. Uh, Which is technically the correct answer, but it's. There we go. There's the first one. Making models. Carl, hi, hi, Carl. Haven't seen you for a while. Making models. Three six three. Well done. Three, Send six, me your address. Tedemodels.co.uk, and we'll get uh, a book out to you. Yeah. Mug and a sticker, a mug and a Mr. E sticker. Yeah. Guys have got loads of them, so yeah, we'll get them spread about. Okay, where are we up to now? 
Zadstad oh. says the same height as St. Paul's Cathedral. I don't know if that's true. Is it? It's a very interesting fact if it is true. It's, it's just very interesting if it isn't true. But that, that's quite interesting, yeah. Good. Uh, that's, yeah, that's, that's huge, isn't it? And the car, car yeah, seems to be uh, more impressed by the sticker than the mug. But <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, the new big stickers, I believe the vinyl stickers, they're quite different to the, uh, the original e-model stickers. Uh, I thought I had some about here, but I haven't. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, and the new, new look stickers. And the new look mugs. New look, new, look, new look mugs as well. Mugs, Second yeah. generation mugs where, with the Mr. E there. Yeah. So, yeah, new look mug. Um, there we go. Oh, yeah. So, um, new, right. Zetster says, give or take a foot. It's absolutely true. So, <laughs> 600, 365 foot tall. So, James two. Chapman says it's 36 stories tall. Mm. Yeah. Right, good. Yeah. So, yeah. Now, it, uh, really, we've got to be on our best behaviour tonight because if if Debbie, the managing director, is watching, yeah, we, you, you can't tell any more of your smutty jokes, Chris. I don't. I don't do smart or jokes. <laughs> yeah. Nobody's ever laughed at me. Well, they've laughed at me, but not because of anything I've said. Just because, you know, <laughs> people can be cruel. Yeah. Yeah. Well, they're, they're, yeah. They're obviously sat down in front of the big. The huge plasma telly with the G and T's watching us. I'm sure they are. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I, and I will get the workshop set up. Yeah, it's not always going to be like this. It's not going to look like sewing quarter. No. Um, yeah. So I, yeah, I'm, once, I'm just excited because I think next time we're going to see a different wall. Yeah, I can, I'll keep moving it round, um, so you can see a dis different aspect. As I say, we're in the West Wing this week because we've sent the servants off for the night. So. Uh, yeah, next time, next week, we buy a loft ladder so we can begin working upwards. So ne next right. week, Ted might be live from the loft with nothing in it. <laughs> yeah, 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 a tail lamp, tail you lamp and the loft. You'll have the laptop on one tea chest and him sitting on a chair just next to it and, and that'll be it <laughs> with a candle. Yeah, uh, and this week, yeah, this week we've added, it, added a desk. Oh, yeah, so uh, that's it. Um, right, well, I've lost track now. Well, we've given away things. Uh, we've still got to announce who won what from last week. Ah, yes, we have. I forgetting things, right? Um, and we we haven't chosen the winner from last week. I've got the random comment comment random chip picker sitting here yes. ready to go. Whenever you want to do that. Yeah, the, right. Last week we did a little bit of a different giveaway because we didn't tell you what the giveaway was. Because yeah. Basically, yeah, because it wasn't because we were lazy at all. It, it wasn't. It, it was it a was. new new format we were trying to see if it worked. Yeah, and also that we didn't know what the giveaway was. <laughs> yeah, we haven't true. decided what it was going to be. So we thought we'd leave it up to you to have a look through the eModels website, and you can tell us what you would like to have won, money being no object. But unfortunately, that's not the way it works. But we have chosen a prize for this week. Well, um, would you like to show them where it is, or should we tell? Should we pick the winner then? Show them where it is. Oh, ooh. I, I, I don't know. What do I think? Should we? Um, I think we should show them. Show them it first. Show them the kit first. Yes. Mm. Okay. I shall show them the kit that we decided to give them away. I shall share that. There we go. I've got to find it now, so I can actually click on things on it. All oh, right. I, I, I'll click onto you so that when I talk, uh, it right. won't disappear. We've, we've decided to give away and plane the Italy 148 tornado and lots of other numbers IDS 60 ANN 311 GV RSV. I don't know what any of them mean. Yeah. I'm, I'm well, pretty sure there, there wasn't an IDS 59 ANN 311 GV, but you know, uh, yeah. but I thought the, the art on it looks quite nice. It's it's thick house, but you could paint it if you like. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, the tornado. I, I do believe that the tornado is actually being phased out. Um, that's that's what I hear through the great world. Whether it's be true, well, you guys, you guys in chat will probably know a little bit better. Uh, this is the uh, special edition one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, 60th anniversary special color. Yeah, so yeah, lots of be, decals. Look at them, bags of details in that. Uh, so that's this week's giveaway. Now you could be in a chance with uh, um, winning that. 
Uh, yeah, all you, you had to do was comment on last week's um, uh, video after it went live. Uh, and should I randomly pick a comment now, randomly? Yeah, why not? Yep. Let's um, find yep. that. Uh, somewhere. I'll find you again. So, yep. I've got to find the well, button so I can find the other button. So that. <laughs> so Adam Clark says they lose, we lose the tornadoes next year. Yeah. Uh, Ostrich says he thinks that, uh, that actual aircraft was at Cosford last year. Um, the tornado has been phased out in favour of the Typhoon. Uh, no. In favour of anyway, yeah. <clears throat> Uh, Fox hasn't been around, so I haven't been able to find his flashy special comment picker thing, but we've got this one again, so it works. Uh, I put the uh, website thing in there for the video last week. As you can see, Ted's nice freeze frame on there. Uh, there were 34 apparently random comments. And uh, if I click this button, it will randomly pick one of them to win. Yeah, no, yeah, no we, don't have, we don't have the suspense of waiting while it tumbles and rolls, do no, we? No, I, I keep straight. meaning to find out that from Fox, but he's been busy, so, you know. Yeah, I'll uh, right. do, do right, we have we go. Do we want to build any suspense? We've yeah, got a yeah. drum roll or something. Or... Yeah, so, yeah, so the winner is 3, 2, 1, press the button. There you go. It's all quick. There it's too quick. Go. It's not the same. Uh, right, Russell Williamson. Russell, uh, yes. said he would like to win the C-57D Star Cruiser kit, but he's not going to win that. He's, he's won a plane. Yeah. So, yeah. Well done. Well done, Russell. If you're watching, drop you uh, a line at e ted at emodels.co.uk and we'll get the guys down at emodels. We'll email your address over to them and we'll get it out to you as soon as we hear from you. So, yep. well done. Yeah. So, sure there we go. Back to me. Right. Um, now then, shall we do next week's giveaway? We can do, yeah. I, this is all news to me. Right. I don't know what we got. So uh, right now, I'm going to try and do this without melting without breaking the, the internet. Uh, without breaking the computer, uh, especially mine melting down. Uh, right, uh, if I get it up. Sorry, right, I assume we're doing it the same way as normal. In that, once the video is an actual video on YouTube, leave a comment. Yeah. Where's it gone? There it is. Uh, right. Here we go. Oh. I'll come back to you. It's right, suspense. It's too, too much here. suspense. Yeah. I can't take it. <laughs> yes, it's slowing down. Uh, I'm just starting to get juddery. Uh, right. I'll do a screen share. Uh, remember, remember, guys, this is... Have uh, you locked on you before you screen share? Because otherwise I'll talk uh, and it will yeah, come back to yeah, me. I haven't locked it on me. Yeah, yeah, remember, this is from Debbie, the Managing Director of eModels, um, from her very self, and she uh, is watching tonight, so thank you. Uh, right, and she said we can give this away. There we go. Ooh, there we go. That one. This is brand new from uh, Tamiya. Uh, mm -hmm. Apparently, it's only, it's only been released today, and it's already selling well uh, from eModels. Uh, a, a want of a better word, excuse the pun, flying out of the door. Uh, Pete uh, tells me that uh, what probably goes, yep, they're massive. Uh, they've sold loads of them. Uh, this is a present from Debbie, the managing director. Um, let's have a look, see if we can see any... Uh, Details of the kit itself, maybe some just artwork pictures, or maybe, well, as we said before, pictures of the real thing, pictures of the model, uh, which is what Tamiya do. Now, a fantastic kit, really bags of detail in there. Uh, just what Tamiya is famous for, detail and perfection. That's nice. Did I, did I see it was 148 scale? Uh, yeah, let's have a look in a moment. Uh, we'll see. We'll just carry on through. I can't remember what scale. What did we say it was? Yep. Captain Craig Gurham and Captain Larry Burt. Decag and Cag. Yep. Uh, lots of the, lots uh, of dials and buttons in there. Cockpit is kitted itself, isn't it? Fantastic. Yeah, that'll be yeah. fun. Yeah, real a real big thank you to Debbie for allowing us to give this kit away. Yeah, we've had some fun kits in the past. Oh, we had half a horse, a foot, <laughs> uh, and a nose. Yeah, but this, yeah, uh, swing wing. Yeah, looks like uh, actual the, the wings actually swing. But lots of stuff in there. All the, yeah, but the deep, yeah. There's one for it's, uh, uh, really one for TK. This all the decals to put on that. Oh yeah, well, even the even the rockets have got decals. Yeah, 
look at some panel lines, do some panel line washes and things like that. Fantastic kit. Uh, loads of pictures to see. Um, yeah, if you want to have a look at it, obviously lots of uh, variations for the color schemes. Uh, looks like masks as well. They, they look uh, masking stickers. Yeah. Looks like one. Well, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we had the Grumman F14D Tomcat. Oh, uh, I to get rid of the picture. <laughs> Can't get rid of the picture. Uh, yeah, in 148 scale, huge, big. 81 pounds worth of kit and the guy the guys from e-models will send this out to you for free if you win it brilliant go go along and have a look uh that's the item number six triple one eight go along and have a look at the kit and you could be in a chance of winning it right i'll stop sharing so yeah that looks um, like a lovely kit no, have I have stopped sharing. Uh, you, <laughs> yes, you're you again. Yeah, there we, yeah, there we are. We're back. Yeah, right. Okay. Right. What you have to do? Um. Uh. Right. Uh, sorry, I'm just chat, catching up on the chat there. Right, yeah. All you have to do. They like it, really. Yeah. Yeah. Good. Yeah. All you have to do at the end of the show is go along to this video and comment underneath. And I think all we could, all you need to do this week is just um, thank you, Debbie. How about that? Yeah, yeah thank you, Debbie. Happen, it? A, yeah, just comment, just comment below. Thank you, Debbie. Well, thank you, Debbie. Yeah, <laughs> that'll be great. Well, that's all you have to do. And then next week, uh, using the random comment picker from the random. Hopefully, Fox's picker. special flashy one. Yeah, we could use Fox's yeah. special flashy one uh, next week, and we could give that away. Yeah. There we go. That's all you have to do. Easy, isn't it? And don't forget, if you want to win prizes from eModels, as I mentioned, the Facebook page, go along to the Facebook page, like the posts, and you could get picked at random for winning some other stuff. Lots of stuff there. Um, right. Anything else we need to do? What have we done? I, I think um, we checked off everything from our checklist that we didn't bother making. Yes. Yeah, we <laughs> checked the checklist that we didn't make. Uh, 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 any other questions from the chat? Anything you would yeah, like Earl, to talk about? Yeah, five minutes, said he saved the feet of his Gundam Grim. What's that? Gundam what? I don't know. Grim, Grim Gird. Uh, Grim Gird. Had to strip them because I overweathered them. Uh, what's the last kit we boobed up? I don't make oh. mistakes. I make, I make all the mistakes. I just, <laughs> hide, them. I just hide them very cleverly. Yeah, yeah, that's, no, I've, that, I've that's, had to strip down bits and re read through bits on occasion, but uh, not really had to go back. One of the the, uh, the tugs that I've been building, uh, one of the panels on those really didn't come out very well with the painting, so I did have to strip that back down and start again. But not really any major problems. I mean, it's repainting. It's not the end of the world, is it? Hmm. Uh, yeah, I, I, that's one. That's one. Good thing about weathering models as well, you can sometimes hide some, some mistakes if you boob them up. Um, I would say I boobed anything quite drastically up that wasn't really unsalvageable. Um, no, but it's, it's always a challenge if you do, or often you'll put the wrong color on, or you'll be painting a, a set of pieces and you pick up the wrong one, paint the wrong color, yeah, it's not beyond salvage. Yeah. Uh, but no, anything else? Any other guys that have uh, boobed up um, when they've been building models? It happens to us all. Yeah, losing things I think is more dangerous than um, boobing them up. Right. Yeah, it looks. Uh, just reading through the chat, it looks like that uh, F14 is going down really well. Uh, yeah, they seem quite happy with that. Um, Sergeant Bone said he didn't really want to win it though. He's got one that's. Uh, very similar uh, he says if he does win it he's going to donate it to models for heroes so that'd be very nice so we'll find out next week if you if you enter and win might happen uh there's a good one from shadow landscape models if we could visit <coughs> three model related places e.g e tamia where would we go Ooh. Ooh. Um. i'd have to say i'd have to go down and visit airfix Airfix, uh, the 
historical leaders in models. Then, yeah, I'd go to Tamir. And then I'd probably have a look and go and visit um, Trumpeter too. Uh, one of the things I'd like to see is how the models are developed rather than just, yeah, the manufacturing process is probably the easy and the boring bit, just inject, yeah, plastic injecting and uh, throwing them out into a big bucket. Yeah, that's probably the, the, the boring bit. I'd like to see how the, um, what do they call them? The dies are cut. All right, yeah. I'm more interested in how they come up with how they're going uh, to, sort of what bits they're going to make it into. Because obviously you've got the finished model vehicle, car, plane, rocket, whatever. How do they decide, right, we're going to have to cut that into two and use that as two bits? Or what bit they're going to have as an extra bit on the sprue? Or, you know, how... I mean, the, the, the Saturn V's are a good example. There's... The main tubes are basically two half tubes that are then glued together. But how do they decide we're going to cut it that way or that way or which bit? I mean, some of the seams are a bit rough on it. And if you'd have moved it five degrees round, it might have been easier to hide it. So it's, do they actually decide how they're going to do it? I mean, cars, again, you, you can't, you don't really want to seam right down the middle of the car. So they're going to design it so they're sort of hidden in some places. But, yeah. Yeah, 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 it's quite intriguing because I know that you get some kits <coughs> and all your parts are spread all over the sprues. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, but kits like um, Trumpeter, for instance, you'll get all of the control room, for instance, on one or two sprues. And all they right. won't be spread about three or four more others. Uh, which must take some uh, some planning uh, and some design. But yeah, I'd like to see the guys, how they actually make the dies in the first place for them, how they carve them out or develop them, mould them, whatever. Uh, Michael Jackman says his first job was waiting for Airfix, so he might know a little bit more about it than we. Uh, yeah. Carl says it's all done in CAD now, so it's easy to break it into parts. So you get the, the finished model and you know exactly what it's going to look like. And you can just get the computer to cut it in the chip and tell it you want 100 bits and it'll, it'll make them for you, I assume. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Yeah. Maybe, yeah, oh, somebody was saying that. Um, oh, sorry, no, that was something else. Uh, yeah, and Spruger Addict said, oh, yeah, I did just say booping it up. Yeah, yeah but if you're right. Um, yeah, so. So that yeah, that's not that's where I yeah, I'd go. I I just really be interested. So if you're watching Airfix, if you're watching Tamir or uh, Trumpeter, yeah, send me an invite, Ted at emodels.co.uk. Uh, I'll pop along. Uh, yeah. You uh, can first, video it. Uh, and... Yeah, um, yeah, we can video it and I'll do a um, an online blog and video um video release and things like that. Uh, uh, but uh, I, I'll only travel first class, by the way. Yeah, so, uh, so you have to remember that. If you want me to come and see you, I'll only travel first class. All right. Uh, right. Uh, anything else from you guys out there? Uh, you've kept us all on about models tonight. Yep, which is really, really good. <laughs> yeah, apart yeah, from um, a brief detour about... Um, uh, yeah, apart from uh, smart um, Maltesers. Um, Maltesers are buttons, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Spirit Grand, it says, yeah, I've got two, I've got two catchphrases. I'll slap it on and boobing it up. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> uh, Carl says he'll carry my bags. Yep. Yeah, yeah. We'll both travel first class. Yeah. Well, it's the only way to travel. Yeah. Uh, uh, Felice uh, says uh, got one mil miniature Wonderland in Hamburg. It would be pretty awesome to visit. Mm -hmm. Now, I there's a um, model village, not a million miles away from me here that I visited as a kid and haven't been back since and I think I quite like to go along at some point because now obviously being more into models they're, they're not going to be good models it's you know the houses and stuff it's outside and yeah but I think I'd be quite interesting to go back and have another, another wander around model village mm. Uh, yeah, we've got a few around here. There's one or two model villages in the Lake District that just uh, build quaint little model villages out of slate. Yeah, quite nice, but uh, not my thing. 
Uh, Michael Jackman says, once you've seen one injection molding machine, you've seen them all. Yeah, that, that's, I think that's the boring part once it's produced, or the boring part of going to a factory, once it's produced and on the machine and just spitting them out constantly. Yeah, that's the problem. Yeah, oh, Jamie Bone says, uh, Babacum Model Village in Devon is brilliant. I think I've been to that one. That, I, I, I holidayed in <laughs> Devon several years ago, and it sounds familiar have no real memories of it i've probably got pictures somewhere yeah quite interesting mm -hmm. uh, uh, ted you do seem to be going a bit glitchy you're definitely going very freeze freeze frame so i think opening that window is the, not good <laughs> yeah it went a bit like that last week about this time now whether somebody comes home nearby and sort of no, there's nobody coming in the house or maybe the thought you're using your superpower of teleporting because all of a sudden you're over this side and then then you're over here <laughs> very, uh, very maybe the, <coughs> excuse me maybe the sun switched on his xbox now and drain okay. it's sucking all the internet out of me uh but on that note i think anyway it's time to call it a night well we've got a fantastic giveaway this evening um we've given things away and we've also uh bet yeah we know that the uh, managing director Director. He's been watching us. Yeah. So yeah, we've had to be on our best behaviour. I didn't wear a tie yeah. either. Yeah, it's too hot to wear a tie. Ties are excused for this heat. That's okay. Um, yeah. So anyway, I think it's about time to call it a night. Hopefully next week Fox will be back with us. So it'll be the, uh, the terrible three of us. Indeed. Uh, yeah, it'll be, the gang will be back together. Uh, but don't forget, if you want to win that F-14, wait till uh, a few... Yeah, it's only about five, five or ten minutes in it until it's yeah. up, up after, video after, and then you comment on it. Yeah. Yeah. After the uh, video has done its bit on YouTube and things, go along, leave a comment. Thank you, Debbie. And uh, have a chance to win next week. And we'll announce it next week with Fox's wonderful name picker. Check it. No, no, his, his name picker is better than mine. It's fine. All right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's, but, yeah. Uh, anyway, well, thank you. Uh, uh, it's time to take a night, I think. But thank you to everybody for tonight for coming in and seeing us. Uh, thanks everybody for watching. Thanks to Chris for helping me out and uh, keeping me going. And hopefully we'll see you all next week. So same time, same place, same back channel. As Indeed. Said. Good night all. all right. see you Good night you everybody. next week. Okay, I've got a button now. I know you've got a button. You can yeah, press it now. Okay. Now's the time to press it. Pressing